we are from group B7 going to present about the telescopic conveyor effective movement of goods. Our group stands by six members and I'm Jonathan son of Pobalad and my meeting number is 23 dls 2032 Today I'm going to explain about the introduction, business problem and also the solution of this project. These are the content of our project. Methane handling is the process of loading, unloading and movement of goods by the aid of mechanical devices. Nilai Polytechnic have several options when selecting a methane handling equipment which is more efficient for movement of goods to transfer the goods from one place to another place. So, to solve the problem on movement of goods, select the right methane handling equipment which is conveyor. A telescopic conveyor is an effective solution in handling the students' bags or their belongings. It is the most cost-effective way for Nilai Polytechnic to load and unload the students' belongings. Based on this project, the first problem that faced by the facilitators is, the facilitators have to coordinate the students' belongings properly, but the belongings are mixed up and left behind while loading into the truck. The second problem is, the volunteers organize it manually and usually under the heat, and it can cause us and can lead to the health problem. The health risks that faced by the facilitators are back pain, slip disc, high heat exposure, and also headache. A total of under two facilitators were asked to answer a questionnaire through Google Form to support the issue. The table and the figure shows that 70 to 80% of respondents are agreed that their students' belongings are damaged and mixed up. Finally, the table and the figure shows that 97.1% of respondents are agreed on changing the manual process to using the methane handling equipment such as conveyor. Hello madam, my name is Kalpana Devi, daughter of Batu Malay. My metric number is 23DLS18F2016. I'm one of the members in group B7 and I will explain about objective, scope of business project and finding. There are two types of objective which is general objective and specific objective. General objective is to solve the movement of goods problem faced by the secretary of hostel unit and facilitator at Nilai Polytechnic. And the specific objective is to establish a method for moving the goods in systematic manner using telescopia conveyor and to reduce the workforce of secretary. Next, scope of business project. Polytechnic students intake occurs two times a year, which is first intake in June and second intake in December. And this project will commence on the starting month of March 2021 and to be completed in month of July 2021. The suggestion for this project is conveyor and the budget is within 2000 to 2500. And the telescopia conveyor features is 5 to 8 meters long while the entire length will pull out the section varies from 11.5 meters to 21 meters and the Project is focused on total of 600 students. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Hana Tasha Bint Hamid and my metric number is 23DLS 18F2024. So I would like to explain our project limitation. Every project has limitation due to movement control or the MCO during the COVID-19 pandemic. The limitation of the project is that quite difficult to make an appointment to have a discussion session with the hotel management unit. Indirectly, access to the data is also affected because of the supporting data required for this project can only be obtained from hostel management. Then the next limitation is time constraint. The time available to conduct this project is from March is from March 2021 to July 2021. Overcoming this constraint, the time should be well managed to be ensured that the project can be complete on time. Next is our organization background. Nilai Polytechnic Negeri Sembilan PNS is the 23rd Polytechnic established under the Ministry of Higher Education Malaysia on 1 April 2007. Nilai Polytechnic has three hostel blocks which is Jati Block, Cengah Block and Meranti Block. In each, in each block can accommodate a total of 404 students. The objective of Nilai Polytechnic campus is to carry out the registration and placement process for students on the day of registration as well as ensure that the college student resident is comfortable and safe to occupy. Assalamualaikum and hello, my name is Muhammad Shamir bin Mat Saidi and my matrix number is 23DLS 18F2012. I am one of the members of group B7 and I will present about product and service. A typical on-campus hostel is defined as housing provided by the Institute of Authority with rules and obligations. 
the nilai polytechnic system is structure that students are expected to stay in the hostel during the first semester of their studies. With RM360 semester stay free, nilai polytechnic has three hostel blocks, which is Jati Block, Cengal Block, and Meranti Block. Facilities provided in the hostel block are each floor is equipped with laundry room, pantry, ironing area, and provides washing machine, vending machine, and drinking water facilities. For each hostel block, each room accommodates four students and equipped with the facilities such as beds and mattress, study chairs and tables, and a sofa fan. Assalamualaikum, my name is Azra bin Anwar. I'm from DLS 5B, and my matrix number is 23 DLS 18. 18F2052. Okay, today I'm presenting about justification. The purpose of this project is to solve the problem of movement of goods during student registration at Nila Technique, which is faced by Secretariat of Hostel Unit and Facilitator. This problem was chosen because of the complaints um, that the hostel units receive from Polytechnic students. This new product may gain a lot of benefits to new polytechnic students and also to the staff. The solution for this problem is by using material equipment which is called telescopic roller conveyor. We move on to methodology. Um, first, research design. This research makes use of quantitative research. The process and method of telescopic roller conveyor will be researched through the questionnaire distributed to Nilai Polytechnic Facilitator. Then we move to data collection method. The data collection method are distributed questionnaires through Google, form and interview the hostel management of polytechnic students to get the data of the new intake student during every session. Then we move to sampling design. In this research, the main responder will be aimed is the hostel unit and facilitator and Eli Polytechnic. 102 respondents is focused and been given a questionnaire. Then we move to data analysis method. Um, the data analysis method is descriptive. Data that we get is almost all of 100 students which is facilitator of Minggu Swagna, MSK. My name is Famazi Benodin, my metric number 23-SFNF2010. I am one of the members in group P7 and I want to explain about SWOT analysis and FICI analysis. For the first slide is SWOT analysis. For the first one is strength. The strength is the liberal tenant is one of the institutions that funded and fully supported by mission government and provide complete facility for teaching and learning. The Liberal Technic also offer a diploma program that meet the demand of the job market. The study fee and hostel fee rate at Polytechnic are low compared to other higher institutions. The second is witnesses. The witness is hostel capacity also limited and cannot accommodate all new Polytechnic students. The problem of electric breakup quite regularly occur at hostel block and a poor internet line make a difficulty for student. The third is opportunity. The opportunity is level technique provide student financial assistance and loan facility through Pabadanan Tabung Pengajian Tinggi Nasional PTBTN. The level technique also collaboration with industry, government, agency and other educational institution. The last one is treat. The treat is competition with other higher institution HEI that offering study with much lower fee rate and job offering before graduation. We go for the next slide. For this slide, I want to explain about 5C analysis. For the first one is company. Nila Polytechnic have an liquid classroom, workshop and laboratories. In addition, all programs are conducted based on the TVD education. The second is computers. 
The rental house near Bandar Estate and Nilai is a computer test too, Nilai Polytechnic. Learning institution is another computer test too, Polytechnic. For the third one is customer. The major customer at Nilai Polytechnic are full-time students. Another customer for Nilai Polytechnic is local community. The fourth one is collaborators. The Polytechnic Information Management System, SPNP, is an information center that is used to facilitate the management of various aspects. Furthermore, the cafe management are collaborators with the Lab Polytechnic. And the last one is Climate. The COVID-19 pandemic in Malaysia has had significant impact on the operation at Nilai Polytechnic. So, to solve the problem on movement of goods at Nilai Polytechnic, select the right metric equipment which is telescopic conveyor. As the figure show, a telescopic conveyor is an effective solution in handling the student's belongings. Telescopic conveyor are highly flexible conveyors, popular, popularly known as expandable conveyor. Telescopic conveyor will feature 5 to 8 meters long while their entire length with pull-out section varies from 12 to 21 meters at the user's request. Telescopic conveyor track linked together by sliding transfer section to provide a useful means of loading and unloading within a less amount of manpower. The advantages of using the telescopic conveyor system are will make the movement of goods more easily from one location to another location. Furthermore, it can easily handle the bulky goods and also can avoid the product breaks and damage. In addition, it can reduce the workforce or manpower. Besides that, by using the telescopic conveyor system can save more time and increase the efficiency. Finally, it is the systematic movement of goods or students' belongings. The finding of this project, 100% of respondents agree that using the conveyor will make the movement of goods more easy and efficient and 97.4% of respondents will use the conveyor to handle the bulk goods and 90 above of percentage of respondents agree that using of conveyor during loading and unloading process can save time, can reduce the workforce or main power, can reduce the product breaks and damage and agree that process will be more systematic and overall 59% of the respondent rate that using of conveyor during loading and unloading process of goods is very excellent and other respondent rate excellent and goods. For the conclusion, the main objective of this project is to solve the movement of goods problem faced by the secretariat of the hostel unit and facilitator at Nilai Polytechnic. This project focused on using telescopic conveyor as a method of moving the goods. A telescopic conveyor is an effective solution in handling the student's bag or their belongings. In this study, the quantitative method and qualitative method are applied to prove that the objectives of this research have been achieved. Based on finding through the survey met, almost 98% of respondents that agree with the conveyor system and said that will help to reduce manpower and can reduce the product damage or break. In conclusion, it is a method for moving the goods in a systematic manner by using a telescopic conveyor. Then we move to recommendation. An additional recommendation that can be used for more efficient and practical to lift goods is by using a hand truck lift. Hand truck lift is the platform is thin enough to slide it under most things then it will lift in vertical position and slip the platform out from under the load. The benefit of using a hand truck lift is that it lowers the risk of injury. Okay, so that's all from us. Uh, we hope our project make a good benefit for Polytechnic Eli. Thank you. Mm -hmm.